Hey you guys, good morning. So in today's vlog, we are running some pre-trip errands, kind of like a get ready with me for travel video. I'm leaving in two days to Cancun for a business trip slash vacation anniversary trip. So I'm spending about three nights doing like business stuff at Nurses in Business Take Cancun conference. And I'm spending four nights in Tulum, just relaxing vacation vibes so so yeah we are pretty much getting ready last minute you know things errands and stuff to do right before I head on out so yeah I'll be taking you guys along with me oh I just left UPS that was the first errand that I wanted to get done before I left on this trip which was to return those catheters that you guys saw me I think two vlogs ago in a day in the life of a med spa owner video where I had to go return <laughs> I had to go return um, these catheters that I had bought the wrong ones and they were sitting at the clinic for weeks and weeks. So I finally got that returned. So next on today's agenda is nails and toes. So that's going to be a long appointment. I really was going to split it up and do like nails one day and toes the other day like I usually do. But I don't think I'm going to have time for that. Like I said, I'm leaving in two days. So really it's just today and tomorrow of getting errands done and then tomorrow there's already like other things on my agenda i have to get a lash fill and um i have therapy meeting tomorrow night i have to go drop off ruby at my parents house so tomorrow already has its own set of things um tomorrow's like hair washing and have to do my hair for the trip and you know just finish packing yeah i figured i would just get it out of the way today so that's where we're headed next and then after that i have to go to the dollar tree to get some wrapping paper to wrap my dad's father's day gift because unfortunately i'll be in cancun for father's day because the conference just so happened to be on that weekend so yeah i'm just kind of leaving his stuff ready and i'll leave that with my sister so yeah so he can give him all his gifts and stuff on father's day so that's the agenda guys and then after that i just have to pick up lunch head home and then just change and head to the spa so today i'm doing like a late start at the spa because i wanted to get all these things done in the morning and then tomorrow it's finishing early at the spa so that i can get the rest of my appointments done in the afternoon like i said last field therapy meeting and the rest of the things but yeah yeah, that's what we're doing today whenever I get home I'll show you guys what I've already packed and stuff I have some new travel goodies that I want to share with you guys that is like my guilty pleasure anytime I go on a trip I always find myself on Amazon like literally buying things just for travel that I've you know probably don't really need but it's always nice to have little extra goodies to just make your travel life easier so yeah i got a few more a few new things i got a new water bottle i got a new shoe organizer i got what else i bought a little portable fan for you know the little outdoor activities and just a few things so yeah guys let's head on out let's pick a song i'm just down the street everything all my errands are kind of like in this area which is nice that i don't have to go too far and then figure out what i'm gonna pick up for lunch um i actually was gonna do chinese food and i forgot today is monday and a lot of our chinese restaurants close on mondays like all the ones that are closed by by me close on monday so that is off the menu i think I'll probably just end up doing like a Zaxby's, you know, like a little chicken tender plate. Something simple because, yeah, I won't have time to cook lunch or anything like that. Because like I said, I have to get home, pretty much change and head to the spa and I have my afternoon clients for today. So yeah, it is super hot today. It's 11 a.m. and it's already 92 degrees. So <laughs> have my water bottle here. So I will see you guys at the nail place. I think I already have my nail color picked out. And then, like I said, I'm doing pedicure as well. So I should just roll on out because that's going to be a long appointment. And I know I'm going to get hungry. So I'll see you at the salon. Okay guys, 
I am finally out. It is about 1 p.m. already. Whew. So, oh my gosh, so my nail girl was not there, so I had to go with just whoever was available. And it was this man girl, and he drilled my skin, like, as he was taking off my old polish. This was, like, right at the start. Boom. Drilled the skin. I literally jumped. Like, I always get so nervous when they have the little drills, even, like, with my nail girl. Because I don't know if this happens to you guys, but sometimes, you know, they're just, like, going, going. And sometimes, like, it kind of slips and, like, hits your skin. And one too many times it has hit my skin so anytime that process is being done I'm always like literally holding my breath hoping that they don't touch my skin or go too far into like the side or the cuticle and it happens so he drilled my skin which is burning right now so I'm ready to go home and just put some neosporin on him because um last time that this happens I ended up getting like a little minor like skin infection like the little area kind of just like was inflamed like you know just the whole thing obviously it's like a cut to your skin so you know that's just a opening for bacteria so yeah I had to like put neosporin on it and like literally like pop like kind of drain it it was like a whole thing um so yeah I'm gonna stay on top of that and just put neosporin on there but anyways that was the first thing and then yeah so these are the nails thankfully I didn't have to like you know cut them down because I didn't want him to like you know my other nail girl like she knows the shape a lot of people just you know shape wise who girl y'all y'all girls already know how it is but yeah he didn't really have to like do too much with the shape um pretty much just like follow them and kind of go with the natural shape that was already there but yeah he did pretty good he even did the little design I'm like okay um I almost like wasn't even gonna do a design because I'm like I don't know how good this man is but like the color at first I'm like it's just so bright yellow like the last time I did a yellow was kind of like a pastel yellow and I didn't see it on the list so oh there's just so many cute dogs over there I'm right by the pet smart and they're like oh three dogs so cute oh <laughs> But, um, anyways, yeah, so this was, like, the softest yellow that I found. And it, it grew on me. Like, now that I see it out in, like, the natural light, it actually looks nice. Um, and then I put, like, little white lines. So, yeah, that was the first part. And then the pedicure part is another part that a lot of times I'm just never really relaxed for. Because, same thing, when they start to, like, you know, pick at your skin and pull the little dead skin off and the little cuticles like they just go so in depth and I don't have a pedicure person that's like my go-to like whenever because my nail girl she doesn't do pedicures so anytime I get one I'm like you know just whoever's available and there's just always issues with everybody I go like I haven't found somebody that I'm like okay this is a good pedicure like she did good um again let me know if this happens to you guys like if it's just like a normal thing or do I just need to start looking for a new place <laughs> um but yeah she did the same thing like she was going so in depth on the side cut my skin I had the same exact issue happen with the previous pedicure the little side skin infection how to do the neosporin and then it's sore like it literally gets sore so yeah with this one she cut two toes like my big toe on the side bled and the whole situation and then the toe next to it there's like literal blood on there right now like yeah i'm gonna have to go home and just neosporin up my nails um so yeah that was my experience you guys like nails mani petties honestly is never really too relaxing for me um i think honestly i want to start to do my own toes i just like getting it because the gel polish but honestly i'm almost like is it even worth it like i could just do my own polish and just trim my own nails yeah let me just stop rambling on the nail experience girl we got that out of the way it is 1 p.m. I'm gonna skip out on Dollar Tree because I'm hungry. I haven't eaten anything. I didn't eat breakfast. I just came straight to do my errands. So, yes, Dollar Tree can go tomorrow. So, Dollar Tree is like not. I'm not really kind of rushing on that because, yeah, I can just do that tomorrow. So, I'm gonna do Chick fil A, just do a regular Chick fil A sandwich. That way I can eat, change, and like I said, get to the spa. So makeup is pretty much packed already. I think I'm actually going to close this up and go ahead and put it in the luggage because I don't plan on wearing makeup today or tomorrow. So that can go. 
but yeah just the basics you know some nude glosses a bronzer my go-to blush that i've been wearing my go-to foundation a little travel size yeah so everything's in there so this can go i do want to wash my makeup brushes i think i'm going to do that tomorrow actually and then in this little pouch i have all of my cables and stuff like chargers you know all that part um this is like the last thing that i put in there because i have to put my little apple watch station in here um tomorrow um, in here anytime i do an international trip i always take the little fanny pack because um i keep my passport in here um and it's just easier to grab rather than having it on your in your book bag and then you have to like you know keep bringing your you know, the book bag to the front so i just keep passport and like for mexico we don't need like the covid exam and all that stuff but a lot of times you know for other countries you do so that's why i kind of just like to keep all those documents in here because um it does get kind of yeah it does get i remember aruba it was like every stop at the airport you had to show that covid test and it was like might as well just have it handy this is what's already in here so this is new this is my new little um shoe holder thing that i bought which is so handy you guys it has a little handle right here which i love things that you can grab um so this thing says that it holds three pairs of shoes but i actually squeezed in five <laughs> um and i do wear a small shoe size so depending on you know your shoe size it'll just depend how many you can fit you guys it's so cute little gray pouch so yeah two pairs of sandals these sandals right here and then the inside compartment i'm not gonna open it because i have everything like tucked in perfectly but i put in two pairs of heels in there so yeah and i'll probably put my slides like somewhere on the side over here my slides and then my shower sandals i may just kind of keep well I, yeah i can tuck my shower sandals like back here and then the slides i may just even put it in my little book bag so i can wear it on the plane um and here's my toiletries girl this is my favorite thing to pack like i'm obsessed with toiletries <laughs> and products so i think i've showed this before in a travel with me video but but yeah i always put in things i can spill in a ziploc bag because in case it spills it's gonna spill in the bag and not mess up the rest of your things you guys a lot of times things will just kind of open or the pressure last time in africa um this thing the bug spray i guess it like popped or exploded or something but yeah the whole and that time i actually had my bug spray in like a cute little pouch that i had so i ended up having to throw that away in africa because yeah the bug spray got everywhere so yeah that is a little tip put all your liquids and stuff in little ziplocs so in here is hair gel these are just my little um night cream so my lotion my exfoliating lotion this is body wash you know what i think i'm actually gonna pull the body wash out i just want to see how much is in there i may have to refill that let me just keep it out there and moisturizer that i'm taking for the trip just because it's small i didn't want to take my avino because it's a full size but this has spf also yeah and then like i said this part is bug spray this is like an essential oil mist just to kind of give some fragrance in the room and then lysol spray we have face wipes for my micellar water we have shampoo and conditioner i have this itch relief cream because i'm going to tulum and whew, if you've ever been to tulum you know the bugs there are insane the last time i went i came back from tulum i'll try to insert a picture if i can find it like my legs were tore up so i actually brought two i got the itch relief and then where's my yeah this stuff right here this is the after bite gel this is very soothing so i think i got both of these from target um yeah shampoo conditioner this is my after sun lotion from aruba um i got a dry shampoo this is new little travel size i wanted to try this one um yeah you guys just the basic stuff i have two fragrances in here this is going to be my nighttime moisturizer we have a small sunscreen i brought two sunscreens because this one i plan on putting in like my little book bag when we go to like you know probably the 
you know, the beach, the tours and things. This is smaller to keep in the bag. We have a little thing of makeup wipes. These little Summer's Eve. These are nice to just put in your book bag. Again, if you're on tours and things, like this is easier than taking a big pouch of baby wipes. So that's why I have those. Q-tips, my razors, baby powder, because y'all know when it's hot, them thighs, baby powder, okay? <laughs> um, toothpaste. Oh yeah, and wrinkle release. So, oh my god, I messed up my whole little thing. Add everything organized. And then over here, I have the baby wipes for the actual, like, hotel in our room. Just to keep in the bathroom. And then Clorox wipes. This is the purse slash book bag that I'll be carrying. I was kind of going back and forth. You guys know I always do my crossbody bag. I also considered my little Louis Vuitton backpack. But I don't know. Sometimes when I'm traveling overseas, I'd rather not take designer stuff. Because, you know, I feel like that just makes you a target and there's been a lot of robberies and stuff in tulum like you just need to be careful everywhere so <laughs> the least flashy you can look you know sometimes it's better but yeah i'm taking this one and then in here i have my speaker yeah i just put it in in here just to kind of keep it a little protected but my little speaker for the room for the beach for the pool ho vibe that speaker is waterproof it's like the best little purchase which my boyfriend got when I went to Africa. Here, this is like my little homemade, uh, what's it called? First aid kit. It's just like band-aids, um, little Neosporin ointments, gauze, that stuff. Um, I still have to pack my vitamins and that kind of stuff, so that will be in this pouch. And over here, I've already packed my clothes, you guys. I've been like trying to stay on top of stuff and not be last minute but this pouch in here is all swimsuits um i still have to pack one more swimsuit which is my yellow one so this is swimsuits and then this one is underwear pjs socks you know tank tops to sleep in like that kind of thing and then my clothes it's actually in my closet i'm not gonna pull it out right now because i'm still packing some clothes but yeah the big clothing what's it called a little packing cube that one's gonna go right here and then that will be pretty much it for the most part i have to pack like some accessories and stuff like my jewelry i have to see what bracelets i'm gonna take and things like that i usually pack that in something similar to this and just put them all in there how much soap is in here i'll just fill it up all the way since it's gonna be a full week this is the book bag that i am taking um, I have a few things in here already. My airplane pillow, eye mask, baby wipes. Um, I think I have my beats in here. Yeah. Beats. Um, charger, pen. Do not forget to take a pen when you're traveling overseas because you always have to fill out that form when you get there. So yeah, I've been on point with not trying to pack at the last minute. Um, I also bought some of these from Target, these little clear jars. I already have one with hair gel in there, but I bought two more just in case I wanted to put like a lotion or something in specific. I think I'm going to give this one to my boo because he's probably going to take his hair stuff in one of these. Um, he already has all his stuff. Like, let me see what's down here. I don't know. He said he was going to pack today or he's probably going to be last minute. I was like, you know what? Mm -mm, won't be me. <laughs> won't be me. Alright guys, well I'm going to go ahead and change and head to the spa. I won't vlog at the spa because, you know, this is like a travel get ready with me <laughs> vlog. Girl, my own reflection just scared me. I was like, what the <laughs> Okay guys, it is later in the night. It's almost 10pm and my packages just got here like maybe like an hour and a half ago. Alright, so let's just open some of these up. I think I'm still missing like two things because i got an alert from amazon and it said it's running late like one of my like my water bottle was supposed to be here yesterday and it's still not here so this is oh, okay so these are just some nipple covers <laughs> um i had to restock so i was on amazon just kind of reading reviews and looking at star ratings hold on is this like a little slide out thing 
yeah. The last ones that I had, so I actually was like these, and they're just too thick. Like when you have it on, and if you're wearing like a very thin, kind of sheer-ish material, you can see it because it's kind of thick. So I never liked that. Let's see. Well, the packaging is really cute. Ooh. This is what brand is this? Vosh Gala, and this is a two pair. Oh my god, these are so hard. No, no, no. Hold on, girl, what is this? <laughs> this is tragic because if I don't like these, I need, oh, okay. <sighs> it was the this that I was feeling, and I'm like, what is this? Okay, much better. Hold on, no, it's still, they're so big. Okay, first off, the size is like a bit much. I don't know, you guys. They do feel pretty thin, so. But yeah, just look at the size difference. Like this little one could fit in there. And this one also doesn't have the little like breathable thing. Girl. Oh my God, no. And these were pricey. Like these were more expensive than the old ones I had. Girl, this is not it. <laughs> oh my God. Now what? So I may have to go, I'm probably gonna have to buy these like in store somewhere. I'm trying to figure out like where they sell these. I know like kind of everywhere. Um, just trying to think of something close by. I, I know I've seen them, but I have to search online. Cause yeah, I don't like this. Like there's literally nothing to let your actual nipple like breathe. It's just gonna be stuck to the actual nipple. like. I like these that have like that little mesh right there. No, Ruby. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna package this right back up because no, ma'am. All right, fail number one. <laughs> and it's crazy because I literally spent like, I was just scrolling and scrolling through, through reviews and looking at stars and seeing what like people were saying because there's so many of these. And I just figured, Ruby please I figured yeah like compared to this like this feels so soft so I mean I still do have these for the trip but I don't want to just take one pair you know all right so that was the first feel I feel like if I put this back in there Ruby's gonna want to grab it let me close this cute say kissy all right go play Okay, girl, next, I think this is my little fan. So I guess my water bottle is still not here. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I got this little folding type of fan. <sighs> Let's just see. I'm nervous now. But yeah, my water bottle, like I said, was supposed to be here like two days ago and it's running late. So hopefully it comes tomorrow because if it doesn't, then it won't be here on time to take on the trip. Which, you know, it's not that serious. I do have my other water bottle, but I wanted this one because it has a straw. <laughs> All right, let's see. I hope this is portable. Oh, this is cute. So I got the white one and it has like a little rose goldish. This is really cute. I love that it's foldable because I wanted something compact, you know, to just put in my bag. And it's rechargeable and also comes with a strap if you want to use it around your neck. But the true test is, is it going to cool you up? Ooh, so that's speed one. Oh, girl, this feels really good. Speed two. And speed three. And you can bend it. Oh my god. Girl, look at look at it. Look at the hair go. Yes, this is it. So three speeds. What is this? Like can you stand it up, I think? 
so you can like sit it on your table and best of all it is also a power bank so it has a usb plug in case you want to charge your stuff and it's very lightweight okay so this was a hit <laughs> thankfully this was this was very important i wanted to have a nice one i just love how compact it is like super cute so yeah this is a go yeah i'm just kind of winding down for the night it's already 10 p.m so I'm just gonna relax a little bit and then just kind of finish packing my on the go on the airplane book bag and my little fanny pack and just figure out like you know just like the lip balm i want to take like just little minor things everything else is ready to go and packed oh um sorry it's dark right now uh let me just turn the light on <laughs> So, um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I have to wash my makeup brushes. I may just do that tonight. That would be a good idea, just to get that out the way, girl. Get the brushes washed. I'm gonna take this one, this one. Um, I guess I could wash that one. It's really not even that much. Like, I'm so simple now with, like, the makeup routine. So, it's just, like, my foundation brush. I have to wash my beauty blender for, for concealer, bronzer brush, and blush brush. And that's it. And then I do like to take this little brush right here because I kind of can pop, like, a little bit of bronzer in the crease just for a pop. And that's it. So, let me go get that out the way right now so that I can leave them drying. And then I can pack them. And we'll be ready. Look at Ruby. Now she's on her best behavior. Hmm? Are you gonna miss mommy? Are you gonna miss mommy and daddy? Are you sad? Hmm? You sad because mommy and daddy's leaving? Are you gonna be having fun with your cousins? Yeah. I'm gonna be having fun with your cousins. That's the drama for me. You guys, she smells so good. <laughs> I am just addicted to the fur. I smell of the fur. Come and I'll show us a half and look at none. It is the next day. I'm here at my lash fill appointment. My lash tech actually just called me and said she's running behind. So it's going to be like a 30 minute wait. I'm actually going to go in there and see if they have any, just so happen to have any like 30 minute massage appointments available because that would be nice. But I'm not going to count on that because <laughs> it was very last minute unless she's just kind of chilling and ha the massage therapist and has like a little bit of space. But um, but yeah, that is pretty much it for, um, the day, you guys. I am, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's a whole situation right now. I'm, like, catching my friends up on some stuff. You guys, today has been kind of relaxing because for the most part, I am done and caught up and packed and pretty much done. So, I've already packed my makeup brushes So you guys saw me washing and I left them overnight to dry. Makeup is packed. Clothes pretty much packed. I'm getting ready to just close that up. When I get home, I'll show you guys the rest of the stuff that I packed in my book bag so that you guys can see what I take on the airplane with me. This isn't a long flight at all. 
it's like two and a half hours from Atlanta, so not too many things, you know, just like music, maybe some movies for entertainment, and that's pretty much it, because it's a short flight. <laughs> I'm also thirsty, so I have to get some water, and oh gosh, okay. <laughs> Alright guys, I will see you back at home. <laughs> Leave me. <laughs> Leave me. Ruby, no. Your zapato? Okay. I'm going to go with you. Oh. And the rest of the zapato? Okay, I'm going to go with Solo one? Vamos a la playa. Vas a andar con esos zapatos. Bueno, a la playa o en con eso. O cuando vayamos como a restaurantes y cosas así, vas a ir con eso. Um, okay, guys, so I just got done with my therapy meeting. So it is. Oh man, I left my phone. I think it's like 8 8 15 ish p.m. So. <laughs> Yeah, basically everything is done. I went to the Dollar Tree, got some snacks for the plane. I got my dad's Father's Day card. It's so cute. I love these little like 3D cards and I love all the little tools. So yeah, I'm going to open this and fill this out. And then I also grabbed the GoPro, which I have to charge. Actually, I may just charge it in the hotel room. And I think my charger is already packed with my little charger pouch. Yeah, the beats have to go back. I took them out because I was editing this video that you guys are watching. I edited like a portion of it. Over the ear headphones is the way you want to go when you're on the plane. Like these things block out everything. Like I hate that motor sounds on the plane. Like sometimes I'll just even keep these on like with no music just to kind of keep like it just that ambiance. Like it just gives you like a nice just takes the sound away. Yes, definitely an essential. And then in the book bag, I finished packing it. I'm not gonna bring it over here because right now I have to get some things done in the office and then I'm just gonna sit down and edit. Yeah, like I said, I just put snacks in there. Um, um, I have my iPad and Apple Pencil. Oh, that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna see. Papi, ¿me puedes traer el iPad, por favor, y el lapicito? El lapicito, el Apple Pencil. Gracias. I wanted to see if I had already saved my Cancun presentation to my iPad, which I, or not saved, but downloaded it. I don't think I did. I believe I saved it to my computer, but I have to airdrop that to my iPad because I don't really want to take my laptop. Like I, I hate taking my laptop on trips. Yeah, in the actual conference, I'm just going to take like handwritten notes um, on my iPad. So definitely have to take the iPad and then I'm going to download like two movies on there. And yes, that'll be it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know you guys really enjoyed like the travel with me um, or get ready with me for travel videos. I will try my best to link everything I mentioned down below, like all my new travel essentials from Amazon, the shoe organizer. I'll um, link the water bottle that I'm still waiting for. I hope it comes tonight, girl. If you see it in the Cancun vlog, that means that it made it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll link the water bottle. I will link, what else did I show? The fan. Get the fan, girl. Get the fan. Oh my God, best purchase. Like, you need it for the summer. So whatever else I mentioned, I'll try to link that. Let me make myself a reminder because I'm the worst at reminding myself to link things in the description box. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the Cancun slash Tulum um, vlog and be sure that you guys are following me on the gram because I'll be posting little daily updates on there so thank you guys for watching yes I'll see you on vacay bye